elevate Chania and I'm keeping my voice down because I've got the housemates in here still asleep. I'm just got about half an hour before university so I thought I might check out this game that I've seen on Wings of Redemption's channel that he claims to be quite scary and all that stuff and forgive my hair, I've just had a shower because I'm about to go into uni and I've got nothing more to do, I've been doing... Okay, so the game is called SCP-087 and in case you don't know what what SCP-087 is, it's um... Hang on... I don't know if... Yes, Fraps is working. Okay, so first things first. Oh, <laughs> I don't like the idea of this at all. There we go, we're recording. Basically, the idea of this is um, SCP-087, in case you don't know, is, is uh, oh shit, not very good responses. What the fuck was that on the wall? Jesus, I'm already, oh, is that the, oh, number, number, okay, it's really hard to control this. Um, is there a, it's like a series of documents about a paranormal creature that, um, that, uh, that some guy, oh Jesus, I can't control this at all, I should really, oh god, I need my mouse more or less in the centre of the screen here. Let me see if I can recenter my mouse, it's, there we go. It's really not that responsive, you, you expect it to be a bit more like Minecraft with its responsiveness. But it really isn't. And that's floor one done. Sorry, this takes for ages. I've only got half an hour. I might not even encounter what this thing is supposed to be. But it's about a, you know, a. a uh... Oh shit! If I could... No, don't look. Don't turn around. Don't do that. I want to keep going downstairs. Is that jump? No, that's just. No, where's it gone? Oh god! Now I've lost the screen completely. Oh, turn around. Maybe that's the easiest way to turn around. Like. But um. It's about like a paranormal creature and how to deal with it, and um, so and a lot of other people have been uh, copying these things, and I'm really scared. There's a shiver down my spine. It's not just because of the cold water from the shower. Oh Jesus. Um, called zero SC zero eight seven, which is about a staircase, and it's supposedly a real thing. Like the, all these people who make horror stories that claim it to be, and it's like super. I really hate these controls. Is there a different way of controlling this? No, that just moves you down. Come on, there must be a different way to look around. This this mouse thing is really bad. Probably just because it's a really small game. It's like free and it's 31 megabytes. And I keep stopping to look about the camera. That's not a good idea. But oh Jesus, I can't control this thing. But basically, it, it's about a staircase that basically goes down, like, down, down. Just stop looking at the wall! Like, this thing jumps out at me, I don't want to be looking at the wall, that's just going to scare the living Jesus out of me. Oh shit. That was the sound. Oh jeez. Oh crap. And I just want to point something out to you. I'm not a guy that scares easily. I've done loads of boxing and all of this type of thing. And I'm also practicing my top gear. Like, look at the camera and speak whilst you're playing and doing something. Move down the stairs! Every time I do that, I just can't move down the stairs. It's really bad. Sorry if this thing's out of sync, by the way. And, um, yeah, I used to do boxing. And it's like I got into. I saw this guy who's like punching things really hard. I'm not sure what floor this thing's supposed to be on. It's supposed to encounter this, encounter this creature called SC0871B, if I'm not mistaken. It's like sort of like faceless human thing, which is really creepy and like, freaky, and I suppose it makes, makes your screen, skin crawl. But, um, is that breathing? Oh, I can hear stuff now. I, I'm not playing with the headsets, which is apparently, is apparently it's scarier when you do so. That's like some creepy... Oh god, that makes his skin crawl. You can now hear stuff, but you can't see where, it, where it's coming from. I kind of want to jump over the middle of this staircase here, but I don't think you can. I, I kind of want to do that though, because it just like, speeds thing up, because I don't know how long this thing goes on for. Like, oh come on, 
move beyond the stairways. No, come on. It's like having playing Call of Duty with a one bar connection. It really is. I hear footsteps. God, this game is creepy. I have heard that you can actually see the monster before it jumps out at you, though. Like when you you sort of like move down down steps or like you move around the corner, you can sort of see it. Sort of like I was about to try and point at the screen. Now, what would be the point of that? You can't see what I'm pointing at. But sort of like in the middle of the screen here. Sort of like if you look, I'm still trying to point at the screen. Well done, me. Uh, but if you look around into the middle of the screen, apparently you can see the monster before you get there. But I don't know, for some reason talking to you guys has made me a little bit less scared about this. Where, what floor are we on now? 12. I'm not sure what floor it's supposed to be on. But, um... God, this game's hard to control. It's actually easier to control it when your mouse is off the screen, ironically. I hear a knocking noise. Oh my god, my nose is running. I've had a bit of a cold recently and been blocked up. Sorry if I keep wiping my nose. Um, Apparently you can go back up the stairs, not that I really want to. Hold on, I would do it far as if this is real, I would really want to. Oh god, creepy knocking noise. I have heard something though that this that the spectre thing that this monster doesn't sort of like make any noise as it jumps out of you, it just sort of jumps out at you. I'm sorry if we don't get to the point where am I sorry? I don't know if I'm sorry or not, if I don't get to the point, oh Jesus Christ, this thing's scaring the crap out of me, oh Jesus. And if you think this is boring, it's just going downstairs, it's not, oh my god, this is not, I mean, I've done boxing, I've got into the ring with guys who are like, I don't know, like 0.4 foot bigger than me, what the fuck was that? Oh, oh seriously, Jesus, oh my god, I don't want to be here. Oh my god, I'm going to have to get my housemates to play this game, that would be brilliant fun, watching watching Ivan, who's a Russian guy, play this game, that would be hilarious, it would just be brilliant. Oh, Jesus, my eyes are watering up, but you can't tell, I'm no close to crying, Jesus Christ, I'm not even a wimpy dude, oh Jesus Christ, I watch horror movies, I've played horror, horror games before, I even played this one game, I can't remember what it's called now, but it's really creepy and shit. It's just had really bad controls. It's like if any monster jumps at you, 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 you know, you're really sort of like powerless to do anything about it. I really should have looked up what, what floor this is supposed to be. I don't know if I have enough time. I've only got about 10 or 15 minutes now until I can go to university. But what floor are we on? 20? It's like you just keep going down and down and down and down and down. Apparently, the visibility in real life, real life is a story. Um, it's supposed to be like 1.5 meters. I'm not sure if this is really 1.5 meters. It's actually quite good graphics for a game like this. I'm not sure why I said that actually. It's just grey stone with a grey floor. And apparently, apparently there's a monster at the bottom which is supposed to be a white face with nothing but a small ghostly body. I don't even know if it's supposed to be that impressive. But apparently it's really scary and, and apparently um, a lot of people find this really frightening and I do find this frightening right now. I'm talking out of nervousness. This is not talking. What, what the fuck was... Oh fuck, that was a, that was a shadow right there. Oh, I'm sorry, I'm going to have to... Jesus Christ, that was freaky. Oh my god, this is not a good thing to be doing right in the morning. Actually, it's probably better to be doing it in the morning than at night. Jesus, that fucking scared the crap out of me. That really, I'm sorry, that really scared the shit out of me. It's almost getting darker as you go down, actually. Jesus Christ. Oh, crap. That really, really scared me. Oh, Jesus. I saw this... Uh, oh, Jesus. And uh, I actually came across this game, I uh, actually first found out about this. Uh, I mean, I know so much about the, what, what this game's supposed to be about. Because I'm sort of like a journalist, I sort of like do that as a living. Sorry, I need to have a bit of a drink. Throat's getting a bit sore. But as I'm a journalism student, so I'm sort of like, you know, naturally curious, want to find things out that I don't understand. And I saw the YouTube video from Winter Redemption explaining the SCP video that he did with Shilly. Um, yeah. And I 
watched it and I watched the actual SCP video. And it was her playing and she was wearing headphones and she could see, see quite a lot of the shit. You can't see, you actually can't see barely anything I can see. It kind of gives you an impression of what it might be like to climb the communications towers in Metal Gear Solid if you've ever sort of like, you know Metal Gear Solid and Shadow Moses and you climb the, the shadow the towers? That kind of gives you a, a little bit of a feeling what it must be like to sort of do that. But, um, oh, you just find yourself sort of stopping nowadays as you sort of, at this point of the game, where you just sort of, apparently it's supposed to be about 30 floors below, but I don't know if that's true or not. We're at 25 now, so do you have the courage, do you have the guts to keep going? Well, I'm going to do this, it's just a game, it's just a game, it's scary as shit, but it's just a game, keep telling yourself that. Why am I saying it's cold? It's not cold, it's just a game. It makes you feel cold though. It does give you an idea of the communication towers. So actually, that's kind of cool in that respect. <sighs> I'm not trying to find some simple light. And if you're getting bored watching this, play it. You will not be bored. Play it. You can. I don't know if you can hear the sincerity in my voice. I may sound like I'm joking. Look at the sincerity in my fucking face. Seriously, this game is <laughs> not boring. It's really, really, really not boring. This thing is fucking scary. I don't know if you can really tell with what, what, what I don't know if you can actually see my face when I've got the glasses on that well. I, I don't sort of I tend to uh, I tend not to be able to see my face. And I hope I don't I just don't hope I oh twenty nine. Oh no, that's creepy. Oh come on, why does it have to make that sound? Can you hear the sounds like Bob the Frat's thing? You should be able to Oh Jesus! That just sounds like a load of wailing. Oh Jesus Christ! It feels like something's creeping up at the back of me. Thankfully, I can see nothing is. So, by the way, I hope you like the split screen. Thirty. Thirty. This is apparently where it is. Oh Jesus! Is it? see anything. My hand's almost disappearing off the edge of the keyboard here as I keep... Ugh, this is not cool. This is so not cool. I don't know what floor it's supposed to be on. I should probably find out. But you can sort of like pause the game. That's the problem. You can sort of pause the game to find out. You just have to sort of keep going down. Oh, Jesus Christ. I'm sort of keeping an, a half wary eye on the time as well. I have heard it doesn't sort of like jump out at you and scream, you know, like it's not like a just traditional screamer like in the scary maze apparently. And it's one sort of one sort of um same grace. Oh yeah. Oh Jesus. I so so I'm so scared. I honestly I I'm not joking. I found this from Wings and Bash if you wanna get this game, um I'll see if I can put a link in the description if I can find the link. Put a link in the description. Oh, was that writing on the wall? No, too late. I think I've gone past it. You can't go back upstairs, by the way. I've tried. And as if the game that you download has like a sort of like a patch. And it's really not helping the fact that my game has such a bad frame rate. Uh, it's such a sorry ass problem with the, my laptop now. It's got so much in the way of like viruses on it. It's a real big problem. And sorry, I'm trying to keep my voice down because. My, my housemates are still asleep. Oh, we're teenagers. That's what we do. We sleep. <laughs> oh god. Okay, four thirty-six. What floor is it supposed to be on? God damn it! It's just the fact that it goes on for so long. And you, just, you just don't encounter anything. You just hear all these sounds. In fact, it's always starting to bore the crap out of me. But then I do know that apparently. But then again, it will just introduce a new sound of sort of Jesus Christ, and then you sort of can't control it. And it's like, um, God, my nose is really badly running after my shower, which is really not cool. Apparently, you can sort of see it from a distance of like halfway down the stairs, so I don't even know. 4.38, I don't even know. God, this is almost getting boring now. I just, I haven't heard any new sounds for a while. I haven't encountered any of those scare the shit out of your shadows. Ah, oh, I need to. I really need to wipe my nose, this is, this is atrocious. 
Oh, I need to go get some tissue in and blow this, blow my nails properly. This is just not working. Oh. I'm not sure if it's the game that's making my nose run. You know, like the fact that I'm actually quite not scared. Like I say, I'm not a wimpy guy. I think the difference, and I don't know why, but 40. Uh, it, this must be getting close now. Come on, it can't just go on for like, for like 70 fucking floors. That'd just be boring as shit after a while, wouldn't it? Oh, there's a shadow. Oh, oh god, that scares the crap out of you when you see one of those shadows. I'm like, what are those shadows supposed to be? So like, this is ridiculous. This is really ridiculous. 41. You sort of count the floors down. Oh god. Apparently it's completely random as well. It's not on any set particular floor. So if you go, if you see a floor that people and people say, by the way, it's on this floor. It's not. Apparently it's random. Is that it? Shit, no. Oh, Jesus Christ, you just keep thinking you see things. 42. I heard it's most, apparently I heard it's most often in around the 40s. God, and by the way, the thing that makes a game so much more scary than a movie, it's just a simple fact that in a movie you're just along for the ride and you know that it's a movie, but in a game you're sort of like in control, you have to engage with it more. And if in a movie, if you just find it too scary for yourself, you just sort of like switch off, you can leave. It's like in a game you sort of like, I don't, in a game you sort of like, Fuck you! Fuck you! Why the footsteps? Oh, why the footsteps? God, that's... God, that's freaky. Oh my god, that's freaky. Oh, if I get to the bottom of this, if I get to the bottom, oh shit, I've only got about a hole is that. Oh, I can't really see my screen actually, it's got a pretty bad angle. Really bad angle to see the screen. Jesus, oh Jesus Christ, this is just, this is just not fun really, this is just not fun anymore, 45. Oh Christ. Oh, Jesus Christ. I'm actually getting through this quite quickly. A lot of people seem to really stop a lot. There's going to be some shadows in a minute, I can just tell. 46. Come on, where is it? This is... I've got to go to university, you stupid and selfish. Apparently in the actual storyline there's some... Um, that you hear like a load of wailing and stuff like like a child that's like really scared oh jesus i can't even keep it together now i'm really fucking scared now oh jesus i'm really scared you sort of like get transfixed but you sort of can't stop yourself and you just get more frightened it's all bit, oh this is not cool this game is really scary oh jesus by the way if you think this game isn't scary if you think this is just walking down stairs if you're bored watching this i'm so sorry this is not boring for me this is really fucking frightening. This is actually really oh Jesus. I mean, I'm trying I can't forget the words for it. It's just terrifying. It's like Jesus, was that was that it? Was I don't 
even know if it's on one of the number of number of platforms, one of the ones that's halfway down. Shit, I thought I thought the railing, I thought the edge of the railing was here. Oh, this game's playing tricks with me now. This is scary. Oh Jesus, I'm gonna get a good uh, come on. Sixteen, I've only got about twenty minutes or so left. Oh Jesus, if I stay here for twenty minutes more, I get twenty late for university. If we don't get there in four minutes, I'm so sorry, but I'm just gonna have to give up. You've seen this game, you've seen what it is, and you see uh, how bad this thing is freaky. Oh, 53, come on! I've got down 53 floors. I can hear so much shit. And now, like, outside, bird song is scaring the crap out of me. What is this shit? Oh, Jesus Christ. I'm not using my dictaphone, I don't know if you can really hear the proper enunciation of my voice. I'm fucking scared. I'm really scared. Come on! Come on! Come on, you bitch! I just sort of want to. I just sort of feel like, oh, Jesus. Jesus Christ. Eagle! Oh, it's full of, which one's jump? There is a jump button in this, I know there is. Oh, space! Yes! Here we go, let's have some fun. Eagle! Yeah! We just eagled on SC. shit with me, please don't do that shit. Oh, come. Oh, it's just the sounds, it's just the sounds that you hear, man. It's just driving you insane. It's scary as shit. Oh, Jesus. How much longer? I'll just keep looking down at the clock. Is that 18? Oh, Jesus. I've only got about five more minutes, guys, at the most. If we don't encounter it soon, I'm sorry. Thank you for watching. <laughs> that was S SCP-087. Uh, you know, if you just sat there and, and watched that like bored, um, little impromptu review whilst we're here, uh, it's not. Oh, Jesus Christ, it's not boring. It's really not boring. Um, 
yeah, get on that game. Uh, you know, download that. It's about 31 megabytes in a zip file. Uh, doesn't take very long at all. Even with my slow as shit internet, it only took seven minutes to download. Thankfully, it didn't go as slow as it normally does. But I had about 200 kilobytes download speed. Uh, I downloaded it in seven minutes. It's it's actually worth it. It's kind of it's kind of oof. Scarier than any horror movie, though, I can tell you that much, um, because you have control, and you just sort of like, oh, oh, it's just, just oh, that game is frightening, I don't want to do that, I'm, not probably, I'm probably not going to do that again, that is the one, once, and one time only, am I doing that, Jesus Christ, <laughs> oh, Jesus, I've been playing Minecraft, I've been doing, oh, jeez, no, not that, not that again, that was scary, but, um, yeah, if you're sat there thinking broad and wondering what's the point of the game, the point isn't um, the point isn't uh, to be the ultimate exciting first-person shooter like Call of Duty or Battlefield. It's not even attempting to be that. But what it is attempting to do is just literally scare the crap out of you. That's the idea of it. Uh, that's the whole point of this game is just literally be frightening and and. Be a, be a real bastard, you know what I mean? It's, it's just, oh, it, the game, the idea of the game is tension. It's like, how much of it can you take? Um, in the end, I I was helped. I was sort of like looking up at the camera, which every so often alleviated the tension. But if I was playing here in a dark room, I mean, I had the light on so you could see my face. Um, if I was playing in a dark room, just me staring at the screen, not looking up to sort of like do two camera pieces to you. I don't know if I could do that actually. <laughs> I really don't know if I could do it. Maybe I could do now though, though now that I know well, what sort of to expect. But it's just every time the shadows jump out, you just, oh jeez, oh it's bad. It's um yeah, it's really bad. But I can easily recommend you go get it. It's actually. I don't know. It's really, really brilliant in its simplicity. Actually, it's one of those. It's one of those things that you just sort of look at and you think it's bloody simple in its concept. There's barely anything to it. I'm like, but for some reason, there's something about it. It's like it's like, oh, you want to keep going. It's like kind of, mm, it's kind of yeah, fun. It's fun. It's, it's quality and rubbish all at the same time. It, and the only real way you can understand the f why I'm saying what I'm saying is to just play it. Honestly, just seriously, just just play it, and uh, you will you will and you'll know what I mean. It, I'm not lying to you. I'm not making up a load of words because I think it sounds good or I think it makes a good video. Honestly, play it and you will understand fully what I'm talking about here. Um, actually, that, and that's all I've really got to say. Get it, play it. And, uh, yeah, to test your nerves, test your nerves, like, honestly, I'm still cold. Um, yeah, basically, uh, do that, and uh, thank you for watching, and I hope you will join me again soon.